Okay. All right, guys. This is this is what we got. Let's go over these uh, parts a little bit. We, you know, these uh, this is the four inch uh, four inch um, ferrule that brass ferrule that that we that we offer on our website www.rnwdistilling.com. Check it out. Um, you can get this in brass or you can get this in copper. So um, we we use brass because we we love the contrast. It's 99 percent. 99.8% lead free, I apologize. Um, I, you know, I just want to re reiterate that to you guys as much as we can. I mean, it, so you don't have to worry about anything leaching into, into your spirits. So anyway, this is, this is the shoulder cut that I was telling you about, about this cut being, uh, making sure this cut was, was a, a, a nice 90 degree off of this section. And the reason is, is you got a shoulder cut right here on, on this ferrule that this actually sits into, okay? So you want to make sure that's square and this, this will keep this will keep this this portion or this section of of your, your still uh, very very straight okay so um, j just make sure that you, you make these cuts straight okay let's move on now now when you when you go to our site you're gonna have you're gonna be able to buy these two sections okay these are these are my orientation sections to actually cap off the uh, the water jacket okay and this is where my half inch uh, pipe goes in, into those four inch sections of a half inch pipe that I had you cut earlier okay now if you notice one of these is smaller than the other okay the reason is this is this one here is is four and one eighth and the reason that is is because it fits perfectly into this section right here okay and then this body section marries that and it gets all soldered in so you have a nice connection there this one's a little bit smaller because it fits inside this okay now. It's a little large. We had this thing cut instead of four inches. We had it cut four and a sixteenth of an inch. And the reason was is because I was getting some variation in 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 uh, inside diameter on this pipe. Okay, so instead of you know me struggling and trying to do it, I just figured I would make these a little bit larger and just take them over to my edge sander and sand them off. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to put an orientation mark on here. I'm going to take this over to my sander and I'm just going to sand the edge of this enough to where I can get it in there. It typically takes about two sometimes three times to get this small enough to fit inside there but make sure that you put an orientation mark on there so when you go run it around the sander you stop it that's your one turn if you stop it here and you start it again and you come back here you're going to end up taking too much here off and you're going to have an issue with trying to solder that in there so um, i'm going to take this over to that sander right now and i'm going to show you how i do that so uh, just bear with me